Hello everybody. In this video I want to explain how the simulation are done for the Chow test. There are two subsamples. In the first one we have 20 observations. You can see here in 20 lines. In the next 20 lines, the next 20 observations are simulated. And I, I programmed here two regression equations. This is the first one. Here is the second one. And the main governing parameters are in red. This is the intercept for the first regression, the slope for the first regression, the corresponding estimated coefficients are here, and then for the second regression this is the intercept, this is the slope, the estimated coefficients are here, and then the Chow stati statistic according to the formula given in the post is calculated here. The critical value is found here using the uh, the function from Excel. And as you can see right now, the Cho statistic is very large, much larger than the critical value. And visually on the graph we see that the fitted line, the gray line for the first subsample is very different from the fitted line from the second subsample. Uh, while the fit for the whole sample, which is provided by this orange line, uh, is not very good. Okay, so yeah. this illustrates the Cho test for the case when splitting the sample is beneficial. Now I want to see how the Cho test is sensitive to changes in the parameters. For example, here my slopes are pretty different and the slopes and the intercept are pretty different. What if I here choose like about the same slope, 12? So you can see here, one is 12, another is 10, and about the same coefficient. Oh, I don't need to do that because I already see that I can barely reject the null with this data. Okay, now suppose I change the second intercept to something like 120, for example. Okay, and at these values, I already cannot reject the null that the coefficients for the two regressions are the same. And uh, subjectively, I would say that in fact, the intercept in the second regression is pretty different from the intercept in the first one. So, um, yeah, but objectively, the Cho test tells us the opposite. Okay, I believe this is all for this video. Thank you. Bye.